Welcome back to the channel, guys, and welcome to SmackDown. We're starting things off with this man, the new Intercontinental Champion and Mr. Money in the Bank, Sheamus. He is facing off against Pete Dunne, his opening contest on SmackDown, and he's... Oh my god. Matt Riddle, the former Intercontinental Champion. Jim doesn't see him. My god, he took his head off his arm. Oh my god, his arm, his arm. Someone gets some EMTs, his arm is broken. Matt Riddle, the bro Derek. This was supposed to be our main event to find out who's facing Ronda Rousey at Judgment Day pay-per-view, but right now, it's gonna be your first contest, apparently. We're gonna find a replacement for Pete Dunne for the main event. I don't know, Matt Riddle apparently wants his internal championship match back, but we have to see what's going to happen. But first up, it's Belenka Belair. Oh man, of course. Representing the Heart Foundation. Here comes Natalia. On the women of the Heart Foundation. Natalia is here on SmackDown. Hopefully get this win and go for their championship match at Judgment Day. Oh wow. Wow, what a pick. What a pick. The first ever Money in the Bank winner from the women's side, China. Trying to face Ronda Rousey with Bailey on like a two-on-one handicap match, but it's a triple threat match. Her and Bailey can go on the same side to get the championship back to SmackDown Series 1. Ronda Rousey, of course, won that match. But China wants redemption. They're gonna do it a one-on-one. -on -one. They gotta get through these three women first to get there. Let's find out who's a fourth member in the fatal four-way. Oh, of course. Of course, she's a flair. If you know who the GM is, it's Ric Flair. That's her father. Of course, Charlotte Flair is in this fatal four-way. I'm surprised she's even in this match. She's already named the number one contender. But no, Ric Flair got his own problem with Kurt Angle at the moment. But here we go, the fatal four-way. The winner faces Ronda Rousey at Judgment Day pay-per-view. And here we go, Bel Air taking on China. And Charlotte Flair got their Natalia. The royalty of the women's division right there. Charlotte and Natalia. We're talking about veterans in this match. China has been around forever. She can definitely win this match, but Bel Air, the rising star. She can definitely win this match and go over to face Ronda Rousey. Might be an upset. The favorite gotta be China, but Charlotte Flair is in this match as well. She faced Ronda Rousey a couple times, but came up short. Look at Bel Air. Couldn't reverse that one. But China taking advantage on Bel Air. And Natalia, the niece of the gut by Ch Charlotte. But China coming over to be a triple threat match now. Oh, no, it's one on one. China and Flair going out in the middle of the ring. We're still trying to find an opponent for Pete Dunne after this match to be the main event of SmackDown. Might be a last minute call. With Bel Air and Natalia now. What a matchup this is. The future against the past. But Bel Air trying to get momentum in this match, but she can't get it going. Goes into the ref. Try with a neck breaker. Natalia trying to go into the corner. And again, I missed the clothesline. Oh my god, what a move on Natalia. And here comes Bel Air on the attack. Natalia in control on Bel Air once again in this match. But China back inside the ring. And Charlotte Flair is back in this match. But Bel is not done. It's Natalia. That's squatting her. The power of Bel Air. Oh, Bel Air got him up. Takes her down. Bel Air looking for it. This will be the end. That KOD. The EST. 
Could that be it? Could that be it? Belair moving on to Judgment Day to face Ronda Rousey. And a kick out by Natalia. Sure, the neck breaker on Bel Air. But what a match with Bel Air would be with Ronda Rousey, power to power, but China. She could get her one on one match as she wants instead of like a triple threat match. And I talk about two finishers, gotta watch out for that. Here comes China and Bel Air. Look at this matchup power and power. But Bel Air is in control on China for the time being. With a big clothesline. Takes down Bel Air for the moment. But China got her in Charlotte and the ropes. Oh, a clothesline, but China missed. Oh, this move by Natalia. Now taking control. What a shot. What a shot again by Belair. Taking it right to Natalia. You gotta watch out, I got two finishers. Could use one right here. Oh man, big clothesline. Oh my God. Natalia with that clothesline takes her down. Just like Luke Harper did on Raw to Dolph Ziggler. Natalia. Natalia, but no, Belair kicks out just in time. But China wants some of Miss Belair. Belair takes her down. Natalia focusing on Charlotte. Belair, Belair, He's gonna take down China. Takes her down. The EST could be facing Ronda Rousey. And a kick out by China. Oh, my schoolboy. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Oh, my God. Oh, again. Oh, my Charlotte's right there. And a big drop kick drops down the queen. And a suplex by Natalia. And a suplex by Bel Air. Grab our hair and then smack Natalia with it. But Natalia focusing on Flair. The rotating in the ring. Heart Foundation and the Flares. Classic matchup right here. But Natalia with a sharpshooter. Sharpshooter on Flair. China's getting up. Oh, but Flair gets out of it quick. The STO by Bel Air. But this one, big splash. With a pin, but the ref is down. The ref is down. The ref is down. The Natalia. China's not done with Natalia. China's not done. Oh, a shot. Hurricane Rana by China. Oh my god, a clothesline in the back of the head. She going for a pedigree. For a pedigree. And a pedigree connects. Oh, Bel Air taking advantage. They got Charlotte. Oh no, Charlotte. Reversal by Bel Air. Oh, that roll up. Got her arms. And Bel Air gets the win. Bel Air gets the win. And pins Charlotte. What a match. That's going to be a judgment day. Belanca Belair and Ronda Rousey for the women's championship. Oh, Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey, women's champion. The women's champion is here. Takes down Belair. 
Byron's not done, I don't think. Got that arm bar. The arm bar's in. But Bel Air. Bel Air's getting out of it. Bel Air's getting out of it real quickly. Bel Air got out of it. Oh my god, I got the women's champion. Oh god, takes her down. Bel Air is ready for Ronda Rousey for Judgment Day. Laying her out cold. Couldn't backstage. I think Christian was supposed to take on Pete Dunne. He got cold. But Randy Orton meets him on, in the parking lot. What is going on? Christian came at backlash. Cost Randy Orton the WWE Championship. Vulnerable Christian getting revenge. Oh my god, no. A power bomb through the windshield. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? The Viper strikes on Christian. Here we go in the main event of SmackDown, finally. But Pete Dunne was supposed to face Sheamus. But Matt Riddle coming out and getting his revenge from Backlash, taking his title. And then it was supposed to be Christian to take on Pete Dunne tonight, but Randy Orton said, no way. He put him through a car windshield. But now we know Ronda Rousey's opponent at Judgment Day. That's Blanca Belair. But who's facing Pete Dunne? I think Ric Flair has found an opponent for Pete Dunne. Oh man, the almighty Bobby Lashley. He defeated Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. I don't know how Pete Dunne's gonna win this match. Bobby Lashley's on a roll. Defeated Keith Lee a couple weeks ago. But now he's facing off against Pete Dunne. With Cedric Alexander as manager. The Almighty is here to bring the hurt to Pete Dunne in the main event of SmackDown. Pete Dunne is a psychopath. He needs to be on his game to face Bobby Lashley. He faced the greats. He knows soul moves. Now here comes Pete Dunne, the psychopath. With a German suplex. Bring back memories for Lashley. But oh god, a shot. And an elbow. And another takedown. Lashley, this control of Pete Dunne. The start of this match. But Matt Riddle, you will think he wants a rematch for his Intercontinental Championship. That will be confirmed at a later date. Probably, but oh god, you see that look on Bobby Lashley? Looking straight at Pete Dunne. And Pete Dunne is taking up Bobby Lashley. He's a psychopath, don't count him out. Oh god, you hear that form smack. Now Pete Dunne's on the top rope. I'm on Moonsault here. Johnny takes him down. Lashley's hurt. Lashley is hurt. Oh, but now Lashley bringing our hurt to Pete Dunne now. Never mind. Never mind. Pete Dunne. He should be a title pitcher, he says. If you can defeat Lashley, oh man, the big things for happen for Pete Dunne. Oh, stuff like this. Stuff like this makes him a psychopath. Let's talk to Matt Riddle. That's what it all started in Series 1. And again, a forearm shot. I'm going with a cover here and a kick out by Lashley. Lashley, not looking so good here. A clothesline takes down Pete Dunn. And Bobby Lashley is back in control in this match. The Almighty bringing the hurt to the psychopath. Down this time, playing the kicks. Pete Dunn in the corner. Don't want to be there, Bobby Lashley. With a spear in the corner. He's going for the Dominator, and he hits him with it. Oh man, Lashley is setting up for it, going for the spear. 
looking for the spear to end this match. And he hits him. Not gonna do it. And I can't go by Pete Dunn. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. The psychopath and Pete Dunn. They can do anything. He no solo super kick from Shawn Michaels. And a spear from the corner again. Oh my. Oh my. He got kicked out. He kicked out of one. He kicked out of one from a spear from Lashley. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Oh, God, a super kick missed. And now Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn, the DDT on Lashley. Lashley got to regroup with Cedric. Well, Pete Dunn's got to meet him out there. Oh, God, what a shot. Oh, Pete Dunn gets Lashley back inside the ring. Gonna take more damage. And a suplex. Takes down Lashley. Could that be it? Could that be it for Lashley? No. Not in this match. You gotta do more damage. Pete Dunn knows what I have to do. Oh my god. And of course this stuff happens. This is Pete Dunn we're talking about. He's a psychopath for a reason. And another form shot takes down. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. This is why he's a psychopath. Stuff like this. And again, with a kick to the face. Lashley is having a lesson with Pete Dunn. Don't mess with Pete Dunn. Don't get in his way. Don't get in his business. Pete Dunn is laying it on Lashley. Lashley getting up. Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn. With the bitter end. Takes down the almighty Bobby Lashley. And Lashley kicks out of it. Gee, that almost had it. Pete Dunn almost had that match won. But Lashley coming back. Oh god, here comes our hurt. Here comes our hurt. Oh man, the hurt lock. The hurt lock is in. The hurt lock is in. The hurt lock is in. And that makes him tap out or pass out. God. Lashley sending a message in the locker room. Man, Lashley with a big win on SmackDown, the closest main event out, but. Oh, he's not done. He is not done. Are you kidding me? Lashley. Well, actually, come on. He has won the match. Throw him into the barricade. Well, actually, picks him back up. And again. Throws to the steel steps now. Come on, Lashley. You're bringing our hurt to Pete Dunn now. It was a spear to end it. And that's gonna do it for SmackDown. Like and subscribe. Peace.